Welcome to my channel where you find all about mixed media, art journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hi, my name is Bea Grob and I'm glad you are here today. Hey yo, welcome back to another video. Today I thought it is time again to play in our altered book. There are not many pages left. It's like this page, this page and this page. That's all I have left, I think. Yep. There's nothing back here too. So, but for my um, project for today, I need a page where I can, where I have the backside not done yet, because I plan to use those brads and of course I want to cover them up in the next project. Besides that, I do have stamps. This is a stamp with blend thingies. I have no idea what brand it is. There was a time before I knew that I was gonna do YouTube videos, I didn't care about brands. So then the other stamp I have, I happen to know what it is, is this from a UK based company called Visible Image. It's called Glimmer of Light, the stamp set. There is a moth with a skull in it. If you don't like that kind of thing, uh, go for a butterfly or a dragonfly or whatever. I also want to use the sentiment, which I think it's very true. Maybe you can see it better like that. <laughs> okay, here we go. Even in our darkest moments, there is always a glimmer of light. I think that's true. Also, it's kind of sometimes hard to see when you're in the dark moments. Anyway. Um, then we are going to need gesso, we are going to need uh, embossing ink and embossing powders. I do use a gold for the butterfly and black for the plants. And I also want to use the uh, gelatos or the distress crayons. Marabou has something similar and if everything fails, if you don't have, go for some water soluble uh, wax crayons, any brand would work. Some have, some are more pigmented. You have to work less with them, and some are less pigmented, so you have to work more with them. Depending on your budget, you can use whatever you want. What I also going to use is a overhead foil. That's the foils. I remember those days when you did the, the overhead presentation. So. I actually get mine at the thrift store because nobody uses them no longer. So that's what we are going to need to do. One of those clear foils. Okay, let's dive in. I'm going to first chisel my page and I'm going to protect a little bit here so I have my protecting sheet. And, uh, I want to cover up the writing somewhat, but the, so that it's still peeking through. So that means I'm going to use a wet towel in the end. Uh, first, let's grab some gesso and cover it up. Okay, the page is nice and dry. Now on to the gelatos. Now for the next step, I want to emboss with this in black. Uh, it has to be really dry, otherwise the embossing powder is going to stick where it is still wet. 
it is a very uneven bumpy surface so I'm pretty sure I don't get a really good impression which is fine with me if you want a really good impression I would recommend to do it on a separate paper and glue it in I'm living with that and I actually I like grungy and not so perfect and not machine made things so but that's a question of preference just make sure that I have really good coverage with the embossing ink and then I need a paper a catch paper Okay, let's see. And you need to give a little bit of time to transfer. Okay, I don't see a thing, but I hope there is ink there. <laughs> You never know. Okay, let's um, heat emboss that. I think I want a little bit more. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna just drag my ink pad very lightly on on the non on those free areas and see what happens here. And let's try. That's much better. Okay, let's put that aside. So for the transparency, I have those fun foams to give a little bit of caution because those stamps don't have a lot of giving. Oops, the way I want it. Make it nice and juicy. And I'm going to stamp two. And I'm also going to stamp the quote. Now it is a transparency foil. It can withstand a little bit of heat, but you can't just hold it on for I don't know how long. So you have to watch it carefully so it doesn't curve or, or bubble up. By the way, just so you know, I do work on a heat resistant surface, uh, so make sure that you don't burn your table or something like that. Okay, now I'm going to fussy cut those things. And um, I actually going to use my paper cutter for that because cutting straight, well, that's not my forte. So whenever I want something really square or circle or a specific, specific form, I use all kinds of tools like a paper cutter or a punch and rarely do it by hand. I'm gonna add a little bit of chest so just right in this area so that it is more visible. I 
and the gesso goes over the embossing powder too, so no problem. I don't gonna glue them or something like that, I just use um, a pokey tool and a bread. Now for the quote, I'm gonna use tacky glue and I'm gonna hide the glue point with some gems, which I'm gonna glue on with tacky glue too. Also they are self-adhesive, I know it doesn't work. And I use the clear tacky glue. Okay, so what I like about that, you can turn those around however you want them. And that's what it looks like. As usual, there are going to be a picture at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope to see you soon again. Take care, bye!